is Robin Hood promoting Shiba Inu? Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So after Bitcoin crossed 60,000 last night, Alex Becker again came out with the statement, <laughs> Bitcoin will never be under 60,000 again. And of course, this morning we had a little bit of a pullback under 60,000. The market will continue to be flippity floppity, but our job is to go with the flow and see how we can exit this month uh, with, with our capital still intact. We'll also talk about Bitcoin dominance, what's happening around that, what does that mean? Uh, and we'll talk about Shiba Inu, of course. All I ask from you is that you give me a beautiful smile to send out the good, good vibes. Smishly smash that like button and let's get into it. So currently we're seeing Bitcoin at 59,902. By the way, a lot of you have been saying that the sound has kind of been off. I tried to configure it a little bit better, but I know that on uh, Chrome, Chrome uh, browser, there's been an issue with YouTube. So if you're using that, maybe that's the issue. I updated my Windows and then it got fixed, but I was also having issues that there was lagging with, with some videos. So I don't know if that was the issue that some of you were seeing. I tried to configure a little bit the sound. Maybe it's better now, maybe it's not, I don't know, because it was looking good for me, but so I tried to get it a little bit better. Uh, so let me know in the comment section if it's, it's a little bit better, this one. So like I said, there has been a little bit of a pullback overnight uh, when we saw the high here at 60,600. We saw Shib, uh, Shiba Inu at 1,412. So it did cross the 1,400 range. But when the rest of the crypto market started pulling back, so Shiba Inu pulled back uh, with it. Uh, and we're seeing, you know, some, some most of the, the market is red here. Um, we did see Bitcoin dominance have its day, daily high, its daily high close of the cycle. Um, and that usually tells us that we're getting closer and closer and closer to the, the potential start of the, of the bull market, of the parabolic run, because when this starts happening, right, we have us, we have the situation where money flows into Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin hits this capitula capitulation area where the money then starts looking for, wait a second, you know, we, we got to 100,000, where's the, where, you know, there's not a lot more here. Now I'm looking for the 10X, for the 50X and things like that. And then money starts flowing into other stuff. Um, so this could be a sign that we're very close. Does it mean it's gonna happen today, tomorrow? That's gonna be the question. You know, if we look at the Fed rate, it's 50-50 and it's four days out. So, you know, it keeps the, the half a percent keeps going up, the probability. Um, and the fear just dropped to neutral to 50. So that's a very interesting situation that we're in right now. Um, and we'll, we'll see how the markets uh, react in the next few days. Coming into the FOMC meeting uh, on Wednesday, will there be sell-off if he doesn't, I don't know, doesn't reduce interest? I mean, that's the only bad possibility that I could see. So it'd be funny if people are selling off into the meeting, maybe 25 basis points is not good by some people might see it not good i don't know but it's it's an interesting situation and we're seeing you know that funding fees continue to go up that sorry more negative uh, funding fees and prices are going up um, and it, it just showing that retail is shorting so the the long fees are actually going down um, this is an interesting situation a lot of retail is actually shorting and not going long in this situation because of the the month because it's september and september historically is isn't great although uh well it, it's you know it's fluctuating it was in the green before now it could be in the red because of this uh little little drop off that we had here from sixty thousand. but it's pumping it's pumping back up it's it's been the whole morning i've been tracking it uh, and it's been up and down and up and down over the sixty thousand level um, and so Last time we had green Septembers, it always followed with one, two, three, four, five, six, and we had uh, one, two, three, not six, <laughs> and here one, two, three. So at least one, two, three uh, green months after. That's what we've seen in the history. Uh, so does that mean that if September finishes green, we're going to see the same action this time around? No, but it does give us confidence that if we do see a good September, where usually September is bad, then we could have a situation where it's it's better than expected uh, and then you know it could bring people's uh, morale up 
And then they come in with bigger force into the crypto market saying, hey, look, even September, which is almost always red and is usually the worst month uh, for, for the crypto market, um, had a green month here. And so that would put confidence back into people and back into the market. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. Uh, but it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. Just got a little bit of heartburn. <laughs> Anybody over the age of 34 knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> you get heartburn at the weird, weirdest times, right? <laughs> uh, so I recently saw this article uh, about Shiba Inu and about Robinhood. Uh, Robinhood Europe decided to put Shiba Inu in the forefront and have a post on the European-based crypto arm of the online brokerage, right? Uh, dedicated an X thread to discuss Shiba Inu. The post titled, Let's Talk Shiba Inu, one of the crypto's most popular stories. Detailed a brief summary of Shiba Inu's launch and community-driven success. Robinhood highlights Shiba Inu history, talking about uh, its supply and um, the price and Ryoshi uh, and how uh, Ryoshi gives half the supply to Vitalik and uh, Robinhood uh, is run by the, the community, uh, sorry, Shiba Inu is run by the community, and a little bit more talking about uh, the, the things that the Shiba Inu uh, community has done since then, right? And it says, Shiba Inu's remarkable success will stand the test of time in the crypto market. The token, which debuted as a meme coin in 2020, took many by surprise by its success, including Baturin. He burned 410 trillion Shiba Inu, right? However, Shiba outperformed his expectations a few months later as the token surge to the all-time high of 0 0.408845 uh, with amazing growth of 157 million percent from the initial trading price. Meanwhile, despite Robinhood's strict listing procedure, Shiba Inu remains one of the crypto assets listed on the trading platform. The token first debuted on the US arm of the exchange in April of 2022 before expanding to other markets. Uh, Robinhood extended its crypto trading operations in Europe in November 23, adding SHIB to its list of supported assets. According to the data, Robinhood is currently one of the largest Shiba Inu holders with a, uh, holdings of exceeding a 47 trillion Shiba Inu. I think this is a sign, right, that Robinhood is gearing up. What do I mean by the fact that they are gearing up? I mean that potentially we know that in the previous bull market, Dogecoin was the big money maker for Robinhood. And they could be looking at this time around and say, okay, what's going to be our Dogecoin of 2024 for 2025? And they might be looking at Shiba Inu because remember, they don't list tokens that fast because of the SEC regulations and things like that. So even if there is, I don't know, Pepe goes bananas or I don't know, Whip goes some new Popcat, I don't know, something goes bananas, it will take time until they they will be able to list it, right? according to what we saw last time around. But if they have already an asset that is on their platform and has potential to go up uh, and people trading it and then making money, so they might be interested in promoting it, especially to the European uh, ecosystem that maybe is less knowable, notable about Shiba Inu because I know Shiba Inu was very popular in the US, but you know even the views, I don't see a lot of views from it. There, there are views, right, even back in the day, like there wasn't a lot of views from Europe. Uh, maybe it's just because of the, the language uh, thing, but I know a lot of Europeans know English, you know, speak fluent English. So, um, well, depending on which country, right? <laughs> in Spain, for example, not a lot of people speak English, but you know, in other, you know, in um, in uh, in the Scandinavian countries and, and and places like that, Germany, a lot of people speak fluent English. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where the market goes from here, what Robinhood will do, and they continue to accumulate Shiba Inu as potential, uh, you know, profit maker for them. Although they have had, you know, very good quarters. If we just, you know, the, their credit cards and things like that that they were offering uh, made them a lot of money, uh, and their stock has been doing pretty good recently. If it, if it ever loads, right? You can see it had a low here of around eight and it's up all the way to 22. So, that, you know, it's up over a hundred percent here in, in the last uh, year or so. So it's doing, it's doing pretty good. Uh, but of course, if we have a, a bull market in the crypto, like a parabolic move in the crypto market, uh, they could make a lot of profits where they had taken a lot of money, invested a lot of money in their crypto offerings that hasn't really brought them back too much profit 
because we've been in, in the bear market for for you know the past year and a half or so. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens here with Shiba Inu, what happens with the crypto market, uh, and what happens with in general uh, in in the world going forward. <laughs> Of course, not financial advice, and you should always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. Don't forget to check out the links in the description down below. It helps us keep the lights on and supports the channel uh, so I can keep continue to making these videos for you. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.